the person did a 360 degree circle plus a 90 degree circle to give the person that particular fullness. It's like, for me, sewing is like cooking. You know, everybody has their own recipe. So depending on how you want your design to be, you can decide to tweak it a bit. So it's not a must that you must do 360 degree circle. You can actually do 360 plus 180. You join it. Is hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing so many calculations for circle your 90 degree circle, your 180 degree circle, your 270 degree circle, as well as your 360 degree circle. We are also going to be doing the calculation for 720 degree circle. So, if this is your cup of tea, I encourage you to keep on watching up to the very end. To all my amazing viewers and subscribers, I just want to say thank you so much for always trusting me to be your online teacher and always coming back to watch my videos. If you're just joining us here for the very first time you're highly welcome my name is joy and i am the tutor and the convener for this channel way by angley here on this channel we are all about sewing tutorials pattern making the business of sewing and how to make money online with your tailoring skills with that out of the way let's just jump right into the business for today one of the reasons why i'm really taking our time to do this particular tutorial is because in the channel we are going to be doing a whole lot of circle things like we're going to be doing a whole lot of circle designs frio you know gathered circle things like that we're going to be doing a whole lot of it so i want to know just put this out of there and one of the reasons again why i'm actually doing this is because in one of the videos i did one of the older videos i did in the channel in the comment section i noticed a whole lot of people asking me questions like oh how did you get 6.28 oh how did you calculate for this oh how did you do this oh how did you do that so i want to really take time and do this calculation so that i get it out of the way so that subsequently as we go it's going to make our uh, you know other learning or other videos seamless and easy to understand okay so now before we now get right into finding the calculations for our radius for each circle be it 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 360 720 we need to learn the parts of a circle i'm actually going to break this down very well you know we are going back to secondary school math so the parts of a circle is what we want to learn now so now this is a circle this round part that i just drew now sorry my circle is not so perfect but i hope you understand this is our circle now this part where i just drew now round round the circle is called the circumference of a circle that's round the body of the circle like this. This is the circumference of a circle. Okay. Now, when you cut that circumference of a circle like so, this this line from one end to the other is called the diameter of a circle. The diameter of a circle. Now, the radius of a circle. If this is the midpoint of a circle, the radius of a circle is half of the diameter. That is from year to year. That is the radius of a circle. Now, another part I just want to chip in. You know, I said let's learn the parts of a circle. So now I've illustrated the circumference of a circle, the diameter, and now the radius. The next thing I want to chip in is the segment of a circle. The segment of a circle. So this is a segment of a circle. But we are not going to be going into the segment of a circle and also the diameter. We don't need that. All we are just going to be focusing on is the circumference and the radius of a circle. So let me just erase this. And the main thing we want to calculate in this tutorial is the radius. The radius of a circle that you will take for it to give you your exact circumference, which in most sewing, you know, in which in, in the case of sewing, it could be your waist or your round knee, depending on where the circle is going to be situated. Now, this circumference, this full circle now is called a 360. This is a 360 degree circle. This is 360 degree circle. 180 degree circle is half of a circle. Now this is 180 degree circle. Now our 270 degree circle is 180 plus 90 degrees. So let me just clean this. Let me erase this so that it will be. I can fit all of them inside. So this is our 360 degree circle. This is 360 degree circle. Then 180 degree circle is half of 360. So this is 180 degree circle. Now 270 degree circle is half of this plus a 90 degree. So this is a 270 degree circle. 270 degree circle. 
Now, a 90 degree circle is one quarter of a 360 degree circle, which is just half of. one quarter of a 360 degree so imagine this is a 360 degree circle you're sharing it into four parts just one segment of this is a 90 degree circle so this is a 90 degree circle now i always hear people ask things like how do we cut a 720 degree circle 720 degree circle is just double double 360 degrees so this is 720 two of these that is a 720 degree circle just two of these. So 360 degree circle is a full circle. So you hear things like full circle. This is 360 degree. Half circle, 180 degrees. So when we hear somebody say something like half circle, you know the person is talking of 180 degrees. Now, 270 degree circle is just 180 plus 90 degrees. It will give you 270. Then 90 degree is one quarter of a circle. So most 90 degrees are A-line skirts or A-line, anything A-line. Most A-lines. Uh, 90 degrees circle most I said most okay so in between all this circle there are actually other degrees like you could have a um 290 degrees and the rest like that but because we are moving we are doing with we are working with quarters the quarter of a circle so this is 90 180 270 and then 360 round so that's why we are just going to be using those ones and of course that's, those are the ones that are important in sewing now depending on the design you're working on depending on the effect you want your skirt to have if you want your skirt to have that you know very beautiful ripples you can do a 360 degrees but if you don't want it to be too full you can do a 180 degrees if you want it to be you know not too full and you know just in between you can do a 270 degree yes people actually do 270 degree circles then if you don't want if you want to do an a-line skirt a-line skirt that has a little bit of drape then you can do a 90 degree circle now if you want your circle to be very full and you don't want to gather it maybe at the waist you don't want a gather you don't want to gather it but you really want that circle to have you know very wonderful full ripples or very wonderful full drape then you can do a 360 degree circle in two places now in this tutorial i'm going to be i'm going to be showing you how to calculate the radius for each of them so now let's start with the first one which is a full circle 360 degree circle i'm going to be showing you how to do the calculation for it now to calculate the radius of a circle because i'm not working with a fabric i'm just going to take this to be my fabric that i have folded into four this is going to be my fabric that I folded into four. We are going to be using a waist of 30. 30 inches should be our waist. Now, remember, I told you the waist is the circumference of the circle. So now, calculate, um, the formula for finding the circumference of a circle is circumference is equal to 2 pi r. The circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r. I hope you can see this. 2 pi r now in our case we already know what the circumference is which is 30 in this case 30 is already the circumference is equal to now our pi is 22 over 7 and if you do the calculation for 22 over 7 22 divided by 7 is going to give you 3.14 pi is a constant is a constant 22 over 7 is a formula for pi that is a constant okay so 22 divided by 7 will give you 3 point. That's the decimal now. You know, 22 over 7 is a fraction. Now, this is the decimal when you do the calculation. Then, R is what we are looking for now. R is the hidden one that we are looking for. So, for you to get this, you have to do 30 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3.14. It's going to give you 6.28. This is where that 6.28 comes from. So, when people are saying divide your waist by 6.28, this is how they got it. I'm sure that some, some people just learnt it like just divide your weight by 6.28 if you ask them why 6.28 how did you get 6.28 they cannot tell you so that's why i'm doing this tutorial to you know break it down for you most people don't even know this formula and i don't blame them because <laughs> we are not doing maths we're not in secondary school maths but those maths are actually very important they are very important if you really in fact tailoring has to do with a whole lot of maths it's like architecture, especially when you have it has to be pattern draping, pattern drafting. Sorry, you have to know your math. Your math, math should be your friend, but it could be just simple math, not the very complicated ones like calculus and quadratic equations. No, no, those ones, just plus and minus kind of math, you know, circle maths and things like that. So, 6.28 times R. 
Now, for you to now make R the main factor that you are looking for, R will now be 30 all over 6.28 is equal to R. So, this 30 now is that our waist. Mm? So, that's how we now got 30 divided by 6.28. Now, this calculation is for a round circle. That is a full circle. So, now I want to do the calculation. If I, if I check 30 divided by 6.28 in my calculator, divided by 6.28 in my calculator is going to give me 4.78 approximately this is 4.78 now you can actually find 4.7 you can approximate it to maybe the least like the closest in your tape in inches now is 4.75 you can use 4.75 to work with this okay or you can approximate it to the nearest whole number in this case the nearest whole number is 5 you can use five especially if you're going to have zip or side seams you know you need you still need some allowance for that zip allowance and the rest so if this is for this is the exact thing you need if you're measuring like now if you buy digital patterns okay and they are selling circle skirts for you they will use exactly 4.78 on the digital you know on the computer they are going to use exactly this because this is the exact measurement you need to give you that um circle exact that's the exact measurement you need to cut the exact radius you need to cut on your fabric to give you a circle of a circumference of 30. so now what it means is when you fold your fabric into four you know this is the pivot point if you want to cut your circle skirt you come here and measure 4.78 or 4.575 depending on what you're using 4.75 you measure again 4.75 all round it now gives you remember you folded your fabric into four so that's why it's looking like this so that at the end of the way you now open it it gives you the complete circle okay when you now open your fabric up it gives you the complete circle so this is what you will mark as your radius you remember i said the radius now is like if this is a complete circle now the radius is like from the midpoint half of it so this is your radius this is your radius this is your radius 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 and stuff like that so when you've marked your radius the next thing you do is to link it okay you link it and then you can now mark the length of your skirt maybe if you're using 20 for your skirt from here you start marking 20 20 20 20 20 and then you now link it when you cut it and open it up your waist the waist that's when you cut it and open it up this is your skirt this waist now from year to year will give you that 30 inches okay now this is for a 360 degree circle now coming to a 180 degree circle remember 180 degree circle is half of a 360 360 degree circle is half of it so if a 360 degree circle hmm, needs four 4.78 as the radius for it to go around the way that's for it to give you your exact 30. you know that if you cut if you if you use the same 4.78 for a 180 degree circle and you divide it the implication is that it's going to give you half half of your your waist which is 15. that's half of your round waist which is 15. so now what we want to do now is we want to now know the radius to take for a 180 degree circle that will give us our 30 inches waist this is where the confusion now comes in for most people i've taught so many um offline people like i've taught so many apprentices i've taught so many students and this is always where the confusion comes in so instead of just after cutting your 360 degrees you now divide it and say you want to do 180 degrees it will not work it will just go half of your waist which is 15 inches it will not give you round so so for a 180 degree circle, we want to know what radius are we going to use for it to give us our waist of 30. It's very simple. When you get, when you've done the calculation for a full circle, which is a 360 degree circle, all you have to do is to multiply by 2. So you just need to multiply. So the smaller the circle, like the smaller the degrees of the circle, the more the radius. The smaller the circle, so meaning that even when we get to 90 degrees, we will also need to multiply again by 2. So this is 4.78. If you want to do a 180 degree circle for a 180 degree circle for a waist of 30, all you have to do is 4.78 multiplied by 2. So my calculator here is giving me 9.9.56. So this is the measurement, this is the radius you'll be needing. So meaning that 
yeah for for your um for your set your 180 degree circle you will need a radius of 9.6 9.56 you know you have to match 9.56 all round so that at the end of the day when you now measure from here round to here it's going to give you your 30 inches now coming to our 90 degrees circle you can already guess what the answer is 90 degrees is like divide that's 180 degrees in two places okay so you've already guessed what the answer is for 90 degrees all you have to do is all you have to do is 4.78 multiplied by 4 that is what you use for your 90 degree circle so if you want to cut like let me say a flare an a line or what have you and you want to use just the corner of your fabric you know for a 90 degree circle this is what you need you just need this the corner of if this is our fabric like so you just need this where you now get your skirt and from here to here is your length so this is a 90 degree circle this corner right like like so so for a 90 degrees all you have to do is just multiply your waist by 6.28 whatever answer it gives you you multiply it by 4 that is the radius you need for a 90 degrees okay now let's come to 200 and 270 degrees circle for 270 degrees circle all you have to do is the answer that's your 30 divided by 6.28 whatever it gives you you multiply it by 1.5 that is how you get your 700 and and 270 degrees circle so remember that 80 degrees circle we are multiplying our answer by 2 sorry 180 degrees circle we are multiplying our answer by 2 for 90 degrees circle we are multiplying the answer by 4 and then for 270 degrees circle we are multiplying the answer by 1.5 so just have this at the, in fact if you if you really understood what i've been doing from the beginning from you know from the little understanding you've had you don't even need to cram it you just need to know okay this is what it is now coming into our 720 degree circle which most people love so much because it gives that you know that added fullness and it really bounces so like when you put all those interfacing gum stay you know and your crinoline it just bounces that's your horse head bounces so well so to calculate for 720 degree circle just like i said 720 degree circle is double of 360 degree circle okay so you want to make these two so you can already guess I, I if, if i'm teaching you physically i'll ask you like i would have just said oh yeah guess what would be the answer but since it's not a physical class it's an online class i'm just going to go straight and give you the answer so whatever you get as your calculation that is your waist divided by 6.28 whatever the calculation is all you have to do is divide it by two so in this case 4.7 4.78 divided by 2 is going to give us 2.39 so what it means basically is you will have to cut a, a 360 degree circle in two places but instead of the radius of the circle to be 4.78 you're going to be using a 2.39 and because you're cutting it into two places that 3.29 times 2 that's into two places now will give you your original 4.78 which when you now join it at the end of the day is going to give you that your waist of 30. now the only thing about 720 degree circle is that there must be a joining unlike 360 degrees degree circle you can do 360 degree circle without having any joining but for 720 degree in fact not just one join you're going to have to you you have to join because you will have to divide if this is your circle you need to slash one part open and slash this part open you take here and join here you take here and join here and meaning that it's going to give you two joins so that's only the downside so i i've i've you know i've done my research and in most other um tutors or other online tutors in their comment section i always see people this is one thing i do like i go to comment sections of most tutorials and then i find out the pain points of especially beginners because i believe that most people that come online or that come to youtube to learn are mainly beginners so i find the pain points and they always ask oh how do i cut a 720 degree circle without joining 
No, my dear, you, you must join. You have to join it because a 720 degree circle is not a full circle. The full circle cycle of a circle is 360. It's not even 361. It's 360. That's the full cycle of a circle. Okay, so if you're talking of 720 degree circle, you need two circles. Now, I hope from this tutorial, you can even, you know, freestyle. Like, personally, I do things like 360 plus 90 degrees. I do those type of calculations. I can, if, depending on how full I want my skirt to be. Now, I've never tried making, like, let me say, a circle skirt. And after so you you're wondering, ah, what did this person do that made her own this full? Now, the person might not have done 720 degrees circle. It might be that the person did a 360 degree circle plus a 90 degree circle. To give the person that particular fullness it's like for me sewing is like cooking you know everybody has their own recipe so depending on how you want your design to be you can decide to tweak it a bit so it's not a must that you must do 360 degree circle you can actually do 360 plus 180 you join it instead of doing two 360 degrees you can do 360 plus 180 you join it it gives you a different effect you can do 360 plus 270 and join it, it gives you a different effect. You see, you just, you know, tweak things here and there just for it to give you different effect. It must not be that, oh, it's this particular way. That is why you're a fashion designer. You must not learn the way another person did her own from beginning to end. You know, just add little spices to your own and makes it look different. I'll make it look different and if possible, finer. So that is just what I wanted to get out of the way. I am very glad I was able to do this tutorial. In fact, I really enjoyed teaching this video as you can already tell. Thank you so much if you've watched up to this very end. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Here on this channel, I always make sure to, you know, serve it to the best of my ability. I want a situation whereby when you watch my video from beginning to end, it is 100% worth your time. So it won't, it won't be a channel where when you come and watch, you just, oh, I've wasted my time and my data. No, you will watch and I just want to teach on this channel, let it look like you're, you're actually present, like I'm teaching a physical class, I'm not just an online class. That's why I always make sure to ask questions like if you prefer a longer form or a shorter form video. So thank you so much for, you know, coming with me on this tutorial, on this journey from the very beginning up to this very end. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so that you get notified whenever I post new video. Here on the channel, I always make sure to post at least two videos every week at least two videos every week so make sure to always see me here every week twice a week or if i'm actually strong enough i can do three videos or even four videos in a week thank you so much for coming with me on this ride and i'll see you in my next one <laughs> bye